I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you girls. I feel like y'all don't need love. You need somebody who could micromanage you. Control certain things around you to make this experience as pleasant as possible, okay? And I know it feels unfair, like you're forced to kind of like do these things, but I always say with everything that, that God gives us, so you know, like there is a, there's always a lesson, right? Mm -hmm. There's always a lesson in everything. So try to focus on how you can navigate this so you can learn that lesson. But I definitely think like maybe you doing something after we hang up might be um, helpful. Like either maybe taking a bath, a shower, um, eating something, maybe making yourself another smoothie, opening the window, letting some fresh air come in. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Before you called, I ended up um, opening up the windows. Okay, yeah. that's good. Fresh air is always good. And the funny part is I actually do have a couple of things to do because um, I have to actually print out my own chart to bring to them tonight from the birthing center. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, since I normally like take a they little fax bit. It over? For some reason, I can't get a hold of anybody from the birthing center to fax it. And it's already in, like I already have access to it. So I was just like, let me just... It's like 25 pages. Or notice if your breath maybe feels like it's coming directly from your throat. Relax your jaw. Release your shoulders down. Uncross your legs if they're crossed. You want to make sure that the energy is just flowing throughout the body. So we're going to do some slow breathing. So you're just going to inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold it. And then release. So you're going to inhale again for one, two, three, four. day of it's Wednesday January 10th is also my middle brother's birthday now I have no idea how to contact that fool so if you watch happy birthday motherfucker <laughs> um we're having a baby today well technically we're having a baby on 11 11 so Tomorrow is the new moon in Capricorn. Should baby come in, baby is definitely blessed. 111. 
111.24. You guys add that up, you'll see what that adds up to. Then if you're into numerology, that's what that is. So you saw me do some work with my doula. It's about 9.12, well now 9.13 in the morning. As you guys can see, New York time. Um, I am a little bit overwhelmed. I'm feeling a bit anxious, but I'm about to make myself a smoothie. If you guys haven't noticed by now, waffles have been my best friend. Waffles, waffles, waffles. <laughs> so I'm going to have me some waffles. And then um, it's approaching 10. We're going to go to the library. I'm going to, you know, get some editing on. Because contrary to some people's belief, editing is very, very calming for some people like me. Like, I love to edit my content. It makes me so excited. It makes me so proud. I don't care how long I take on it. Um, I found a deal on a MacBook Air. That part, I'm about to order it. It'll come in on Monday. I'm so excited. Um, I always wanted a MacBook, but didn't want to spend MacBook money. As you guys know, the train passing through, I had to open the window because I needed that fresh air. My anxiety is through the fucking roof because I like I've never been induced before. I think that's the most anxiety that I have is being induced. So I'm going to go to the library. I have to print out my chart. I didn't do it yesterday. Baby, it's kicking away in here. <laughs> I have to print out my chart because they do need that at the hospital. Nobody from the birthing center or the head midwife, whatever she want to call herself. I don't know. Lead midwife, something. She didn't answer my phone call and I couldn't give her the fax number. So it's a good thing I have access to my own chart and I can print it out myself. Whatever. A couple of dollars at the freaking library is not going to kill me. I spend more money than that. So... Which is gonna be great now. Um, shout out to my friend Jen. She bought, uh, well, she gifted me a printer. Love her to death. Cause now I'll be able to, you know, work. My sister bought me a thermal printer for my packages. As you guys know, my business is going physical now. So everything is working out in my favor, and I'm glad I have so many supportive people in my corner. Love them to death. So I'm going to make me a smoothie. I'm going to let my phones finish charging. By the time I'm done with smoothie and eating, um, it'll be time for me to just head on down to the library. On the way back, I do have some packages to get, like um, baby's coat and my portable uh, tripod, like I told you guys I was going to bring, because we're not bringing my big ones. It's just too much work. So, um... Also, I do have to stop and get some things for the loi. Um, there are, is some prayers and some talks I want to have with them before I go in. So I'm going to light it um, in the incense during the day. And we're just going to have a nice talk as we usually do. For those of you who are interested, I'll definitely um, share and I'll walk you guys through it. Just in case you want to reach out to the loi yourself you want to learn how to connect with your ancestors that is mainly what my channel is about for me to help you guys on your spiritual journey that's what my tiktok is about follow that because a lot of new videos are coming out on there so this vlog is probably going to be a pretty long one i'm not going to hold you i saw an hour long labor and delivery vlog so you guys might get like 30 minutes out of me you never know so As much as I love living by the train, it's so like cool to watch it pass through. That shit is noisy as hell. But I'm glad my apartment doesn't shake like on um that Wanted movie. Oh, how am I supposed to sleep full of that fucking bracket? That was hilarious. All right, so let me stop talking and go eat. And then we'll get going. I used to see Visions of you and me, so happy It's over now, you're gone away Still I can feel your energy Someday, your DNA, oh babe Alright guys, so I got my medical records from the birthing center as you can see now, um, if 
if I look lost, I'm just thinking. Um, now I want to go and get the stuff for the Loire from the discount store. So I'm going to hop back on the train, get back to my side, call it a day, go visit my lady. I got to get, um, I already have a candle for Fleda, but I got to get a candle for Danto and the Loire. And um, hopefully she has uh, that money spray that I normally buy from her. Because I love that spray. It's going to make my house smell like money and blessings. So let's just go. We made it to the discount store. On the way over, I saw the numbers 222, two, two, which means stop worrying. Everything's going according to plan. It's right here for me because if you've been watching this whole time, so by the way, I'm freaking the f Oh no. Oh no. Now she ain't got no white candles. Good thing she got blue. She ain't got no white. What's going on today? Oh no, she got the big white one that I bought last time. These shelves have been empty since before, but these are this is the one I gave the Loire the last time. And they accepted it, so we're gonna give it to them. This time, got one for Danto too. Boom. I didn't see that money spread I told you guys about, but I would love to get it. Ooh. Feeling the pressure in the belly and in my foot. Ugh. No real Florida water. I only say real because I'm used to Lamin and Murray. I'm probably gonna have to go to the Botanica. Make sure me and baby are very well fed because they're gonna try to feed us ice chips and shit. Mm -mm. But y'all saw, got the Loire flowers. I'm about to clean out Fleda and Danto's altar. I also picked up my packages. I got toothbrush covers because y'all know I'm bringing my toothbrush. And yeah, one of these is the baby's coat. You guys want to see? You guys want to see? I know you want to see. Let's open this up. Oh no, this is the baby's blankie. Look at this. This was so fucking cute. Let me put this in the baby bag or in the car seat. One or the other. Because I'm going to cover baby with this. Super cringe that I don't want to just put it back in my bag like that. Of course, we're going to take the pink one. Duh. Right. Probably going to get one of Nico. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to save my face stuff, but I'll leave it in the bathroom until after I shower again tonight. So as you guys know from the last video, baby stuff. So, and plus not for nothing, for those of you who have or hadn't had kids, when you leave the hospital, they leave you with so much stuff. If y'all think I'm not taking it, y'all got me jacked up. <laughs> so there's a lot of room to fit that stuff in there. 
plus um remember i have to go in with my paperwork so i'm glad this book bag has a spot in here you guys can see and it has like a big zipper for just in case i have to put other stuff in there to take my sweetness for a weakness, baby, yeah Love or lust, I don't wanna fuck this up Tell me what you need, girl And I'll put my all in you When you're not here, I'm calling you If I die, I'm haunting you, yeah to program it to my phone so i'm going to try to do that before i put it in my bag so that way that's the last thing i'm worried about while i'm trying to you know i can just press the button to record stop at least that's what i saw a guy do at least i would do that charger number one that's for the remote control and all that um so tonight is, well, tomorrow morning, we'll have a new moon. So I got my manifestation book. Sometimes when I'm in like a lot of pain and doing stuff, I am able to write. So I'm bringing that and a pen, um, something basically for me to read and keep my mind off of what's happening there. Cause I mean, something's already happening in here. So, I, I really believe what the doctor said. I'm not gonna really have to be doing this for long, possibly. I got my Aquaphor because I told you guys about my feet. They were so cracked. I had to save them. So between the Aquaphor and the working hands, I gotta have that. Got to have it. Um, yeah, I think for the most part I'm ready to go. Trying to bag you. I'm running how to lose. I got about you in the door being bad.